It looks like this. And let me pause this real quick. This video didn't really have an intro, so let me fill you in. I'm KZ Guy 2, also no nonsense know how, and this is my junk channel where I put videos that aren't really worthy of my other channel. A buddy of mine asked me how I changed the injection pump timing on my 12 valve Cummins. So I did take this footage when I did this about two years ago, but it wasn't very good footage. I went ahead and edited it anyway, and it gives you some insight on what the job involves, and it's also kind of a video log of what I went ahead and did to do mine. So, check it out, but you're starting on the, what I'm holding right now is a 24 millimeter hex plug that's on the side of your injection pump. You're going to remove that as a tool behind it. And please bear in mind, this video kind of just assumes that you have a general knowledge already of the 12 valve engine and uh, some of the components on it, or maybe even have done this job before. So it's kind of just a little refresher video for you. Here we go. And then inside of it, you're going to find this little piece right here. Put in like that. You just flip this around like that. Take this out. I like to put a pair of pliers on there. And then if you, you look in this hole with a, a uh, camera. All right, so on this screen here, on this camera, we can see that little flag is right in the center of the bore. And that means that... Our pump is timed to the factory specification. So you would take this tool, I like to put it in there like that with some pliers on it and then twist it. And if it slides perfectly over that little flag, then uh, you know your pump's timed to the factory. You come over here to this plate right here on the timing cover. And uh, you, if you read it, this, this engine's timed at 13.5 degrees from the factory. And so if that's 13.5 degrees, I'm going to go ahead, I have this timing cover off because I'm doing the uh, KDP tab right now. So I figure might as well check the pump timing because it's a lot easier to take, you know, take this gear off and clean it off properly with the cover off. I'm going to put a degree wheel on the crankshaft, then set a pointer and basically change the timing by 2 degrees. So I'm at 15.5 instead of 13.5 degrees before top dead center for my pump timing. All right, so with the engine at top dead center, timing pin slips in no problem. The flag is lined up. This slips over there no problem. You have your degree tape or degree wheel set. You set it at exactly zero degrees. And then you're going to go ahead and hold the engine uh, with your barring tool or whatever the case. Loosen this nut here. Use a puller and pop this sprocket off. Once that's loose, you're going to rotate your engine uh, two degrees counterclockwise on here so it's going to say positive two degrees then you're going to clean it off with some you know get it get that nice and clean acetone or whatever you got to use torque this down properly and then uh now when you set this that means basically means you're two degrees over what it is from factory so it will be 15.5 degrees before top dead center and that's the way i'm going to set it up we'll see how it runs i like this method because if i ever want to go back to stock i just you know can loosen this and make sure my you know set it back the, the way the factory has with the pin in there and all that and it'll be good but just to recap the pump is timed at the firing basically this flag can slip over so the pump's timed to fire then i come down to my degree wheel and i rotate the engine two degrees counterclockwise so that's Two degrees before top dead center. Added to my 13.5 equals 15.5 degrees of timing. And we'll see how that feels.